Welcome back to another episode of Once I Smack Talk. We are here two weeks removed from Backlash and the greatest wrestling match ever. And we are here just a few weeks away from Extreme Rules, where it's the one time a year in which we go extreme. <laughs> but we are gearing up on the road to Extreme Rules. And we have some uh, some great things happening tonight, I must say so. I must say so myself, because I've heard them. And I've uh, seen them, and I've smelled them. And I've even tasted them. So, we got those coming up. But first, I wanted to talk about... Uh, something not more important, but, you know, to me and to, to some of my friends, it is more important. I want you to use the hashtag speak out whenever you feel that you have uh, been wronged against sexually. <laughs> Oh boy, I uh, probably should not keep that in, <laughs> but I'm gonna, <laughs> it's fucking staying in, no, nobody cares about that, uh, I want to talk about uh, my tag team titles, I want to talk about them, because you see, I've been off facing Paul, you know, beating him at Wrestlemania, and then losing to him, and you know, we, we had a great series of matches where it was it was close every single time. And I'm, I'm done with that now. Paul has bested me. Whatever. It's fine. Because I know that even if I'm not the greatest predictor of all time, the greatest KKPL predictions champion of all time, I know I'm one half of the greatest tag team of all time. But I know... I need to go back with my brother. I need to go back with Joe. I know I need to go back here and defend my tag team titles. Uh, Mikey was very serviceable. They didn't lose them. They won every single match they were in when they defended the tag titles. Mikey did a great job, you know, sitting here and holding down the fort with Joe while I was off chasing titles. Uh, but I'm back now, and I'm ready to defend the tag titles. Mikey's off and he's um he's trying to have some fun. Cause he's, you know, sat here in defend of the tag titles and he's bored with that. I understand. I understand there's not many people that can beat a, a there's not many people that can beat one golden god. Two? It's damn near impossible. Uh I I would say that the only two people that could beat um the golden god two golden gods might just be two golden gods in disguise. I mean, I, I, that's the only way I could see anybody beating us. You know? Uh, but yeah, I'm back. And I do wish to defend the tag titles at Extreme Rules. And I'm sure Joe does as well. I think Joe is ready for a challenge. We don't want to just sit here and build up days as tag team champions. I hope you know that. I hope you know every month we don't defend. Um, it's not because we're evil and we want to keep our reign lasting longer and longer than it should it's just we have nobody not a single person who's, who's ready to face us not we need two people we don't have a single person ready to challenge joe and i so it, it's hard it's hard um you saw when it was it was mikey and joe they they had to come out there on the pay-per-view and ask for it and somebody finally would show up. I had to beg and plead with Masked Man and Seth Hayes. I had to just I had to drag people out of Tartarus to face Joe and Mikey. And they weren't even the people, they weren't even the tag team that won it and held it for 200, 300 a fucking year. 
That was Joe and I, Joe and Kang. So don't even think that you're going to come in here at Extreme Rules, whoever it is that is going to accept our challenge, if you do. Uh, don't think you're going to come in here and you're just going to take the titles from us. You know we've been champs since SummerSlam or whatever the fuck of last year. And before that we were champs. I don't even know. It was fucking 2018 the last time. We ain't. We've lost. We've barely lost. Ever. We've been champs. Fucking. You, you could pull a Bailey and say we've been champs for two years. If you wanted to. We're not losing. But I don't want that to discourage you from challenging us. Because I do want. A ch I won't be a challenge. But I do want. Somebody. To uh, face us at Extreme Rules. So. If you're out there. And you're a tag team, and you're wishing to, you know, get some honor and get some gold. Come on down. The price is right. Um, or if you're two singles competitors and you're thinking, well, maybe we could team together and we could beat them. Try us. Do it. See if anybody responds next week. And then we'll see the next week. And then we'll see the next week. And we'll see the next week. And the next week. And the next week. But yeah. Just wanted to get that out there. That I'm back in the tag team division. And I'm not leaving. So. Now. Speaking of Mikey. Who has been the tag team champion. Defending it for a while. He he oceaned an Ipu challenge. <laughs> last week. Uh, and. Just like Brandon. He decided. He wanted. He wanted to have somebody come and grab the brass ring and face him and well uh, nobody did so uh, here's Mikey hello everybody this is the patiently awaiting Mikey Carbs who is patiently awaiting somebody to accept my open challenge I don't know how long, much longer I could be patiently awaiting um i'm sick of being patiently awaiting but if that's what it takes to get a challenger i guess i will be or continue to be patiently awaiting yeah yeah you're probably sick of hearing me say patiently awaiting well i'm sick of saying it maybe somebody should just accept the challenge i'm open to anything i'm just looking for a little bit of excitement you know the strip clubs are down slot machines casinos are down those are really the only two things that get me excitement so i'm trying to maybe try something different like i don't know make predictions right i mean if i went to the casino and won every time i would probably get sick of going it wouldn't be much of a challenge or fun so i guess that's probably the same thing that's happening here i mean it's that's based this this predictions league is basically my casino where I win every time, except in the real casino I lose every time. So it's kind of a catch twenty two here, but I don't know, maybe I'm just rambling because I'm patiently awaiting somebody to accept my challenge. I know there's a lot of people in this league um who have been patiently awaiting their title opportunity, but guess what? I probably could get a, a title opportunity and probably deserve a title opportunity. And I don't even want it because I'm patiently awaiting to have some fun. So, please, somebody, anybody, I don't even care. Sebi, I know we fought like 15,000 times, but I guess it's something new. Uh, you try it, I don't care. Uh, Darcy, we fought, I'm gonna, I don't know how many times. Yeah, you know, you're very annoying, and I'm sick of beating you. But I wouldn't mind hearing a song or something. So that's at least something different. So... I don't know. Somebody accept it. Or come up with something. I'm open to ideas. But what I am sick of is patiently awaiting. So, Mikey is patiently awaiting somebody to come and somebody to face him. Somebody to, to challenge him. He wants somebody out there. One of you he wants you to come in there and he wants you to... to See if you can beat a golden god. We'll have to see if somebody responds next week. <laughs> in the next week. 
and the next week, and the next week, and, uh, well, I think you know the rest. Also, last week, Paul was left wondering, who will, who will be my challenger for Extreme Rules? And this week, we have the answer, and boys, let me tell you, this is insane. Roll it. Hi, Paul. It is me, your worst nightmare, Buffy Cat. I took care of your dumb gay cat, Kunshin. Now I'm coming for that title. What you gonna do when Buffy Cat runs wild on you and takes the KKPL title? This is your final warning, sucker. And when I'm done with you, I will rule the KKPL. Bitch tits. That's right. Buffy. Coming off of her main event win at WrestleMania against Kenshin. Is undefeated in singles competition. Her entire KKPL record. She's never lost. She's coming for Paul. And she's coming and she's coming for Paul's title. We'll have to see how Paul responds on next week's episode of Wednesday Night Smack Talk. But for now, that's it for this week's episode of Wednesday Night Smack Talk. So, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you get notified whenever another one of these videos comes out or any other video that you want to see on my channel. Also, don't forget to check out the Patreon. There's a link in the description. Um, you get special content and things. I'm uh, revamping a lot of things over there on the Patreon at the moment. So uh, come and check it out if you're not already a patron. Uh, thank you to my loyal patrons, uh, Zach and Mikey, and also Sebi on occasion. Um, uh, but that's it uh, for this week's episode of Smack Talk, as I said. So, I'm just gonna, just gonna sit here and uh, wait for you to click off. Uh, you, you gone? Are you waiting for the music to hit? Oh, no, I'm not doing it this time. I'm not, music's, uh, no end screen. No, seriously, just leave. But the screen's black. What are you doing? What? Go. Get out of here. Okay, fuck it. T H A N K Y O U. Thank you. Thank you. T H A N K Y O U. Thank you, thank you.